Hello, my name is Matthew Dolby and I'm director for the Lifetime Centre for Doctoral Training in Non-Animal Technologies. Our aim is to produce the future leaders in the field with your help and thus we invite you to our stakeholder day to help us shape the future of the CDT to help us make it better, the best CDT in the UK. We're providing a little pack to help you get some information ahead of the meeting so that you can formulate the kind of questions, suggestions you'd like to put to us for improvement. This includes an introduction from myself, a discussion about industry partners from Michelle, who is the Lifetime CDT coordinator, and then reports from two of our students, Seb and Mina, about working through a PhD in a, during a pandemic right at the start and during the second year. Also from Eric, Hill from Aston University, who is our Equality, Diversity and Inclusion Lead, uh, who can tell you how we're doing there. And we'll also we include some bits and pieces about uh, CDT events, blogs, etc. The CDT, of course, has a structure that manages these students at capacity. At capacity. There'll be 50 or 60 students at the same time, and in total, we'll train 80, train four students. So we have a management structure, as you can see here. I'm not going to talk through all the details on the slide. If you're interested, you can pause the slide and have a read, or you can just give me an email and ask me. Uh, but we have a, what's important though is we have a steering group who keep a check on us. This includes people from industry, uh, from NGOs, uh, and from uh, other academic units and the funders, as you can see just here. And it's a really fantastic steering group who will keep us on the right track, I'm quite sure. In fact, we have three formal opportunities a year to receive feedback into the CDT. The two, first two, we really invite you to most strongly. It's really important that, that everyone buys into these two events and it's well attended by students, academics, uh, sponsors and industry. So the first one is our stakeholder day, which we're preparing for now. This is really a facilitated networking session where you can work through contributed questions and suggestions. And it is always really useful to us and very valuable exercise. It's always good fun. It's always one of those where you go into it thinking, well, this is a bit strange, but you come out of it thinking, well, I've contributed something there. Everyone always says so. Then we have our student day where our students present to staff, funders, partners, uh, along with informal networking and partner exhibits, invited talks, etc. Of course, this year it was virtual, but hopefully next year to be the real thing. And after all these events, we have the steering group meeting where they talk to our students without us present, and then they give feedback and suggestions for how we improve the CDT. And we have some informal opportunities as well. The, the management meeting is every month, and every third management meeting we invite all our partners and funders to so they can contribute to the running of the CDT and give us advice, which we very much appreciate. Some partners come in, it's always great to see partners there. But of course, we understand the pressures of time. So you can see the steering board gave us homework this year that you can see just here. Most of them have been actioned or in, or in progress. Uh, in fact, I'd say all of them are actioned or in progress. Last year at the stakeholder day, we got uh, a number of recommendations we've actioned on. So we're looking to uh, get close links with Ireland. So through, we held a QAM retreat, uh, which was virtual this year, but all our students contributed. We've given our students training in IP and confidentiality. Uh, we've spoken one to one to every industrial partner that was willing to, and that was a really worthwhile exercise and we'll hope to do it again. Uh, we're promoting physical sciences projects and also having a look at making sure we have a balanced portfolio of projects. The students are embarking on training in looking at eco-friendly practices and how we can improve our CDT to be an eco-friendly centre for doctoral training. And we're also looking at providing extra training and communication to our students. So every, all suggestions actioned and worthwhile making. Of course, the CDT will deliver world-class PhD level training and research, papers, etc. We also give our students professional training that's uh, transferable skills. And this includes uh, networking with industry, charity funders, communications experts, and it all has a focus on entrepreneurship. We're trying to make our students more entrepreneurial and more industry facing. Uh, and we hope to do that with your help as we have done through lockdown, where a lot of you have given a lot of very kind time into helping our students. To facilitate this, we have our funders, of course, and also our industrial partners that pay in, uh, to, and also our charity partners. Plus, we use professional training and a facilitator to deliver high quality training to our students. We also have iClub, who pro provide in kind contribution, though not direct supervision of the students in most cases, unless a partner wishes for it. 
We're now in the second year of the CDT. We've recruited 34 students so far. So far. And all of all, all are involved in multidisciplinary projects around 3D models, microfluidics, drug screening, cell sorting technologies, etc. Uh, the 2020 cohort, or the UK students, have started in the lab in October. The SFI students in Ireland will start, well, have just started in January. Uh, and for all of this, these projects, the UK students all have industrial stakeholder partners associated with them now. Almost all of our stakeholders, all of our industrial sponsors are engaged with student projects in superv supervisory capacity. This year we hope to make it 100% involvement. And we encourage uh, industrial partners to think that it's not just one project that they can get involved with, it can be many. Uh, and this is really important to the training of the students. Here's this year's cohort, a really excellent bunch. Uh, our 2020 students have backgrounds in chemistry, physics, bioengineering, biomedical sciences, biology and plastic surgery. So you can see we've diversified our scientific background as requested by the steering group. Student quality remains extremely high. Entry to the CDT is very competitive. It's one of the most competitive CDTs, I would say. And we've accomplished EDI balance just through accepting the very best students. We've worked hard to mitigate time loss with COVID. I'm not going to talk too much about this because the students can talk to you about that, Seb and Mina. Uh, but all of our events took place uh, and training was rescheduled to find free time for students out when they come out of lockdown so they can focus more on lab work rather than on training. And our partners really pitched in with careers talks, networking sessions, judging and mentoring for the Dragon's Den competition, etc. And some partners have been so enthused to, to a form a mentoring group. And as, as many of the partners that can do that would be really fantastic because then students can get a really broad experience. And it doesn't matter really where you are in structure, whether you're a CEO, a technical expert, sales, uh, marketing, etc. All these things would be really valuable in, in, in both industrial and third sector. Uh, and we've, they've also done other things as well, like attend the QAM retreat, and also we organised a joint CDT conference with the UK Science Society of Biomaterials that all of our students participated in, and we helped to organise. In 2021, we're currently actively recruiting, uh, closing date for applications, 31st of January. Please pass the word around. We have great students, we have great choice, but this choice is what gives us strength, so we really need excellent applications into the CDT. And then please help us to interview. Last year, uh, folks helped us to in interview from our industrial partners, and it was very positive. So we would thoroughly encourage you to get in touch with us and say, yeah, we'd like to help you doing the interviewing. So I'd like to say thank you to everyone listening, our funders, our partners, our iClub, our staff and our students. And of course, to Michelle, Mihai, Amy and Emma, who really make the CDT work and who help the students out on a daily basis. Please participate fully in this stakeholder day. Ha look at the little at the videos uh, that we sent to you, just so you can get up to speed with what the CDT has been doing. And then think of the questions you want to ask and the changes you want to make that will make the CDT work better for you and will work better for the students. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>